My name is Fred Hartman, and I am the Director of Guest Programs at Liberty Science Center. And this is my lab partner, Colonel Quayle. And this is my pet is my lab partner. Today, we're going to make a tornado in a jar. This jar right here, using just some common things you can find around your house. So we have, of course, our jar. Colonel Quail's plant is very busy on her phone. Do you have a lot of quail mail to answer? So she's busy on her phone over here. We've got our pitcher of water and we have some food color. Now first we're going to fill our, our jar here about three quarters of the way up. We'll keep going. All right, now to make our tornado a little easier to see, we're gonna put some food coloring in there. So we'll add, let's add a drop of green and maybe a couple drops of yellow. Will you get off your phone, Colonel Quell, and help me do some science here? Nope, she's too busy. All right, so we're going to get our cap on here and we're gonna swirl it up, okay. So now is the fun part. So I'm going to spin the jar really fast in my hands. Are you ready for this, Colonel Quail? Now as I'm doing this, the water on the outside sped up faster because it is rubbing up against the friction of the plastic. And the water on the inside was slower to speed up. But they're probably all at about the same speed now. So let's see what happens when I stop. You see Colonel Quail? And we see that we have a little funnel in there. I'm not sure if you could see it too well at home, but there is a little tornado inside our jar. Now, why did that happen? The reason why that happened is because as the I stopped spinning it, the friction, the water on the outside slowed down first because it was against the friction of the plastic. You wanna come back over here, Colonel Quail? You wanna play on your phone some more? You can go back to playing on your phone. Uh, meanwhile, the water on the inside kept going faster for longer, and that created that funnel. Now, in nature, whenever you get two col or parts of air that are moving at different directions, they can create a rotating column of air. And sometimes if that rotating column of air gets sucked into a supercell thunderstorm, it can get turned into a tornado. But fortunately for Colonel Quail and I, this, is not a, this was not a dangerous tornado at all. Want to try and do it one more time, Colonel Quail? I know, I know what might get you to try our tornado one more time. How about a blueberry? A blueberry for a successful tornado. Let's do it one more time. And you can see our tornado forming there. And you could do this at home. And our instructions are actually on our website at lsc.org under our LSC in the house. Till next time, everybody, hope you are well.